are we on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let's make the phone check. Lights. Lights. Cameras. This is Swanky. This is Lifestyle. This is Culture. Welcome to the social center of everything culture. Culture Daily. On Culture Daily, we're going till 10 a.m. And just as we promised, you had a great conversation this morning. Still touching base with a very good friend, sister, cousin, auntie, everything, <laughs> all the things you're going to add to, given um, a, a wonderful personality join us this morning on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, and let's welcome the traditional way. Nana Bano Mice, live in the studio! House rules, house rules, and Abba. So um, <laughs> here, when you make a mistake, when you make a mistake, we clap. Uh, we clap. We clap. Oh, right. Yes. So Why when would you, you make a mistake? Ah, exactly. Say, that's I don't real. think she will make making mistake. mistakes every day. Oh, still, 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 still. Every day. <laughs> I don't every think day. so. the first honest guest we've had. Yeah, sorry, you're my first. <laughs> oh, wow. our, our first honest guest. Is this? <laughs> and when there's something on your chest and you, you really want to yeah, get it yeah, out, you can't it. say that he, he brought a new, he said you're suffering osteo, from osteo, a, osteo, something osteo, called chromopolosis. Chromopolosis. Yeah. Yeah. They are now working on the, the biological distance, the shorter weight, but for now, we the scientists, that's what we, I'll tell you about it later. Don't let these guys stress you. Osteo, osteo, osteo. Now, welcome to the show. Thank you. And thank, thank you. you. I know uh, short notice, but you know, you still pull through. Mm. That means that the Owen I owed you, I know, like, but we'll settle that at the back end. You know? Yeah, I, I knew I knew you were up to something when you called me. You know, when I called her, but the first thing she did was, mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 and I, knew, I was like, yeah, yeah, I know. But it's all good, though. Um, mm. I mean, you're looking good, like, as always. Well, yeah. God is great. All the time, all the time, God is great. And um, I'm, I'm just running first to the woman of valor. Now, right. um, I want to tell us a lot about it because that's one of the things that also caught my attention. And then mm-hmm. I said, no, we haven't spoken about this in a long time. Uh, Nanaba has been on a lot of things she's doing. I mean, if people who follow your page, yeah. a lot of girls, young girls, draw so much inspiration. Uh, two girls in there saw you and then they said, we know her, she sees her, she'll kill us. So <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, they yeah, did. Yeah. I saw them. No, they, they, you, you didn't take notice, but they saw you. I, don't, ah. I know they'll kill me for saying this, but... Oh, okay. I, um, I probably didn't pay and, attention. And they're all excited, you know, to me because yeah. they draw so much inspiration from me. So they want to drill down to actually girls. So why the girls find so much inspiration, what they're looking for, um, and what they've seen. And I'm very sure, um, I mean, just top of mind, you know, you've, um, you've, you've lived a lovely, a wonderful media life. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Hopefully. Absolutely. Oh, no, you have. Yeah. I'm not sure about that, but yeah. Oh, no, 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 you, <laughs> have, you, you say have. so. <laughs> no, 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 you have. You have. Mm. Facts are facts. Are facts. Ah. And there's a lot of things that we need to learn, things we need to draw from you as well. So mm. today we're going to have a very good conversation. And then your opinions on uh, so many subject matters as well. Huh. <laughs> 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 right. So, so let's, let's talk about this, uh, this project, mm. The Woman of Valor, and what it is about. Well, uh, Woman of Valor is, in simple terms, an empowerment platform for women and girls. Mm -hmm. Um, It's something that I had in mind for the longest time. I like to procrastinate. I don't (laughs) run away from that. It's my biggest weakness, but also my strength. Um, uh, It plays both roles for me. Mm -hmm. I procrastinate a lot. I remember when I was young, my mom used to beat me. She couldn't get it out of me. (laughs) I like to take my time. To do your homework. To do my thing. Mm -hmm. I I don't want anyone to pressure me. I do it because I want to do it. Not because people think I should do it. Um, And so I had been pussyfooting for a very long time Mm -hmm. and then so for 10 years I'd been dilly dallying oh should I do it this year should I do it next year and every time I think Cyril would even tell you that we are trying to do something together and every time I go to him oh let's do it tomorrow and then uh, he won't hear from me for another two months she's suffering us too (laughs) (laughs) you know um, but in 2022 uh, that's when we had the World Cup right yes Yes. yeah Qatar World Cup yeah After the World Cup, I decided to take a break uh, for a month uh, Mm -hmm. to go see my son um, in the U.S. And so at some point in the middle of the night, I got an epiphany, you know, about this event. One. One serious at the service, so one. Uh, <laughs> I hope somebody's Epiphany tracking it. It's such a simple <laughs> word. For us, so. hey. <laughs> right. Somebody say, hey, you're so going to be hey, <laughs> And so I, I decided that, okay, and this was in December. And I thought, okay, this is it. I need to do it. It's been 10 years. Mm-hmm. I have to do this. And so immediately I put things together, called my, my, my team and said, look, I want to do this in mm-hmm. March. 
And so whatever it takes, let's do it. And uh, my sales guy said, well, it's too late now to get sponsors. I said, I don't care. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's something I want to do. I'll put my money in it. Let's, let's do it. Because mm -hmm. if I don't do it now, I'll never do it, never again. Do it again. And so for the first year, I did everything from my pocket. It was very... Uh, tough, you know, because um, I wanted a certain standard. I needed certain people to come on board. I, I needed something mm -hmm. very unique. Uh, so it was very tough. And I did it because in my DM on Twitter, I mm -hmm. locked my DM. It's just three days ago that I opened my DM. But on Instagram, my DM is open. And every single day, I get no less than 100 messages, DMs, you know, requests. And they vary from one thing to the other. Somebody who's been brokenhearted and looking for inspiration. A young girl who's 17 years old, pregnant, mm -hmm. uh, doesn't know what to do with a pregnancy, but she's heard that, oh, Nanaba had her child when she was a teenager, mm -hmm. and so, well, then if Nanaba did it when she was a teenager, then Maybe I should it. also do it. And I say, look, this is such a bad inspiration. I, I like it when people draw inspiration from me, but some of the inspiration is wrong, because when I had my child at that time, it was tough. You know, I had to sacrifice so many things, things that yeah. I don't talk about because I, I'm not one who likes to do interviews and talk about my yeah. personal life, you know. So people don't know this. Um, did you sacrifice school anyway? I did. Wow. I did for, for one year. I wow. did. I did. And I've never said this before, but I got admission to the medical school. You know, oh. I was a science student in school. So I got admission to the medical school. I had to let no. that go. Yeah, I would have been a horrible doctor. <laughs> <laughs> my father, oh, so you, had, my you, had, you wanted to be a, a doctor? Not, I, I didn't want to. My father wanted ah, me to be. My father thought I would make a fantastic doctor. He, yeah. he was living his life through me. I think he wanted to be a doctor. Ah. He couldn't do it. But he thought, oh, my daughter will be a good... Yeah. I would have been a disaster, a complete <laughs> disaster. But I had to put that on hold. But again, it came at the right time for mm -hmm. me because it was the only time I could tell my father that, well, this has happened mm. so, yeah. you know. So that's how I found myself into the media journey. And I've always loved media right from get-go. Pause right there. What did, what did uh, Daddy do when he found out you were pregnant at that time? Because it's a reason why a lot of young girls can't right. open up. Okay, for my father, he was not Bothered. Oh, wow. Because I have a very good, well, I had a very good relationship with my dad. We were very, very, very close. Mm -hmm. I would confide in my father. My father is the reason I love TV, is the reason I love books because mm. he was always reading. He was a permanent reader. Um, my father, at some point, had a show on GTV called Agrimac. It was an agric <gasps> show. And so my father was always a, a TV person. That's an old show. Yes, yes, he loved to watch TV. And when I was young, I didn't watch kids' show. We were always watching CNN. In the morning, mm -hmm. um, Larry King is on. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so I followed Larry King a lot. Uh, when I was nine, ten years old, I knew the guests he was interviewed. I, I knew all the, you know, presidents. Mm -hmm. So that's, that was my journey. So I always mm -hmm. loved the media. Mm -hmm. But my father thought that I was so brilliant at physics and biology that <laughs> I would make a fantastic <laughs> doctor. But well, here we are. But I, what, what the point I'm trying to make is that there are too many people with too many issues mm -hmm. and they are uncomfortable talking to their parents, About which is it. suicidal, mm -hmm. that your child cannot talk to you at home, mm -hmm. but would rather go to a stranger. You know, they just see somebody on TV and they think, oh, I can confide in this person. Mm -hmm. And that for me is, 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 is troubling mm -hmm. because I could talk to my dad about anything. My mom was a lioness. <laughs> when my mom found out I was pregnant, she was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But she came around later. <laughs> my father, oh, he was so cool about it. Yeah. You know, he thought it wasn't the end of the world. But I want young girls to be confident, basically. This is what I want young girls to do. To be confident, to wear their confidence badge. Because once you're confident, there is nothing you cannot achieve in this world. Mm -hmm. And there's mm -hmm. so many things I have done not because I was so mighty, but because I was just confident. Mm. Or I pretended to be confident. Mm -hmm. And I was able to do it. And that's what I want to do with these girls. Unfortunately, I'm unable to respond to the deluge of messages that I receive. Two, two. <laughs> I'm unable to <laughs> respond to these messages. You know, I can go online, maybe respond to 10, 15, and then I'm out. But then I respond to the first 10 or 15, and then the rest... Mm. And so I thought, mm -hmm. okay, let mm -hmm. me just create a platform and bring on other women because mm -hmm. I, I really don't like putting myself out apart from the job that I do. Mm -hmm. I really like last year's events. I didn't speak at the events because mm. I think that 
other women should be at the forefront, forefront yeah. and speak. And mm -hmm. so I want them to come on board, meet other women who are going through similar things they're going through. They've mm -hmm. done it before because we are not, we are not islands. You know, mm -hmm. whatever you've experienced, he's experienced. They may be in a different shape. Mm -hmm. He's experienced in a different form. Maybe you're about to experience it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but but our, our that, that we are so we have so many commonalities, you know. And so that's why I did Women of Valor. So the women mm -hmm. can come there, not just find inspiration, but also network. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I realize that people don't network a lot in this country. They go to events and they are on, on their, their phones, phones. Yeah. they're too yeah. shy to say hello to the next person because you're not sure how the person so. is going to receive you. But I say to people that if you, if I come to a room and Cyril is there and I say hello to Cyril and he's moody, he doesn't respond, shame on him mm. and not shame on me. At least I tried, I spoke. Yeah. And, and that's how you build your confidence, that ignore the next person and think that you're better than them if they decide to be rude and arrogant. And number there, uh, it's, it speaks to women, mm -hmm. but I do believe there are a lot of young men as well that you have projected on your socials. A that you, absolutely. Um, I, I, you haven't considered anything in that space for men as well? Or? No. <laughs> no, I, I haven't because, well, so Women of Valor is not just for women. Last okay. year right. what I did okay. was that we did 70 percent uh women and 30 percent men mm -hmm. the reason i brought men on board and i think that every female women empowerment program must inculcate men mm -hmm. is that you cannot sit in a room full of women have discussions about women <laughs> uh, no, what's wrong with you <laughs> we have deluge we have epiphany and, and then inculcate inculcate you guys really inculcate sorry Oh, yeah, yeah, pussy footy. We'll What's deal with that name? later. <laughs> You're supposed to be on my I'm on your side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on your side, absolutely. We've corrupted Lenny. Lenny's not on your side. <laughs> absolutely. But the men don't count me as a woman. No, no, no. So. She's, not, she's not on your side at all. <laughs> <laughs> she's one of the boys. Yeah. It's too late. No, but I think you, you should have the conversations with men mm -hmm. in the room. Yeah. Yeah. So the men understand. Yeah. I remember when I started um, uh, reading the news, at some point I had cramps. I couldn't read the news and I had been scheduled to read and my editor said, oh, you've been menstruating for how long? You should be used to it by now. Oh. No, you can't get used to menstrual pains. Yeah. You know, so if you're in a Whoa, room with so men and you discuss yeah. these things, then the men understand that, oh, the women are not against us and empowerment is not men versus Women, women yeah. you know, and uh, sometimes people I see people comments mm -hmm. on social you feminist. There is nothing wrong with being a feminist. There are mm -hmm. men who are feminist. Feminism is just about equality. It's about equity. It's about inclusion. There are people who are misogynistic, like men who are misogynistic. They don't like women. They can't stand women. Mm -hmm. Same way we have women who are misandrist. They can't stand men. They don't want to see men. So when people bottle us, put us mm -hmm. in the same mm -hmm. bowl and say, oh, feminists, they, they don't like men. <laughs> no, <laughs> there are men who don't like women. There are women who don't like men yeah. as well. They mm -hmm. just don't want to the, see the, the women. Men, the men haven't just amplified theirs to give a... Their, their oh, they names. do. Some it's men. Been, they it's rather say, been normalized for men. It's been have. normalized for men. Mm. And so it, it's, it's more of a tradition for men. Men. And for the women, it becomes... A taboo mm, kind of thing. It's yeah. a taboo. Mm -hmm. it, 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 that, that's how we've been conditioned. You know, and that for me is sad. So there are men in the room as well. Yeah, this year okay. we're doing the same, 70 30. Okay. Uh, because I want the men to be there. But of course, whatever Abuna is going through at age three, Kofi is going through at age three as mm -hmm. well. And so if we start the conversation early. Since you touched on. I, want, I wanted to find okay, out go ahead, if after the first edition, there have been some form of testimonials. I'll just absolutely. You know, uh, absolutely. And what are some of the ones that you see that like, you can highlight that, you know, there's a reason why I did this? La last year, uh, we had a partnership with ALX and MasterCard. So oh, about 200 yeah. young girls were uh, given Coding. scholarships to take up any course in software engineering. Wow. Yeah, and, and that yeah. for me was a big deal. Okay. Now, there was a lady who represented Ghana last year uh, for the main speakers, Eugenia. Mm -hmm. When I was putting the list together, I contacted Anita Eskin. I said, I need a woman in Ghana who's never been hurt is doing amazing things. She sent me a tall list. Wow, yeah, I look wow. at the list and I'm like, Anita, <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? So as I was going through, one name stood out for me, Eugenia Bafo Banco. I didn't know anything about her, but it was mm -hmm. a Banco. The name was very special to me. So mm -hmm. I took an interest. That, well, what kind of name is Banco? I've never heard it. So I contacted Eugenia and mm -hmm. oh, she told me that she's a victim of sexual abuse. 
set up a foundation called the Safe Space. And I said, okay, please, I'd like to have you on board. She said, oh, count me in. She came on with Omotola from Nigeria and Julia Stewart from South Africa. Omotola, of course, huge. Mm. Uh, Julia Stewart had just finished doing the uh, Super World Cup presentation on Super Sport. Now she's mm -hmm. with Premier League TV. Mm. And Eugenia was the unknown star. She was the one nobody knew. Mm -hmm. But Eugenia's story broke everybody down in that room. Wow. You know, because mm. it's, she came with her mother. Her mother didn't know that her male friends and her husband's male friends were molesting Eugenia when she was young. What? Oh. She got to know on the day? Yes. On the so day. the woman oh. broke down there. You know, she got into the room, she had a story, saw the crowd, and decided, no. This is it. I need this to tell it. my truth. Yo! Yeah. Wow. And then in the crowd, That's one crazy. lady stood up and said, she's not being molested, she's not being raped by anybody, but her daughter, who I think was five years at the time, had been defiled by her sister's son. Hmm. Huh? And that's family. And so what do you do? Do you go to the police? Do you let it go? Yo. Yeah. So these stories came out. But what stood out for me after the program was this girl who constantly, persistently sent me DMs. I thought, I need to talk to you. And I thought it was just one of those things. So one day I decided to respond to her DM. Wow. And she said, oh, she has something in common with Eugenia. I invited her to my office. She came, we sat down, she talked. The story was... It was just unthinkable for me that she's 21 years old. In the middle of the night, her mom goes to call her and say, Hey, oh, Papa Frel, huh? her father had been sleeping with her for four years. Oh, no. Four years. Her father, and I thought that was a stepfather. It was a biological father. Mm. And so I drove this girl together with another friend all the way to Afenia because I needed to understand what was going on. We got to Afenia. The mother was at home, and she confirmed the story. She said, now, Senyeja Waria Ehina Meko. Yo. Yeah. And so between last year and now, we've had to find her. Well, the girl is in school now. Uh, we moved her from Afenia. She lives in Newtown. We had mm -hmm. to rent a place for her. And she's doing very well. Of course, she needs a lot of counseling. You know, she's mm -hmm. gone through a lot. She can't report her father because I wanted her to report the case to the police. She, she can't. Because that's her father. Mm -hmm. That's her father, and she's got other siblings. So if the father is jailed tomorrow, who takes care of them? You know, and the mother is not keen as well that you can't you can't do this to your dad. No, so that yeah. for me yeah. was a success that we were able to get one girl hmm. to come out of uh, of, of some An oppressive sort of, situation. Yeah, oppressive society, and mm. she's free now. Not completely free, free because the mental psychologically yeah. she's not there. Messed up. Yeah. yeah, she's not there. Right. Then, yeah, I'm sorry, I, I, um, I, I don't know. I'm just touched by the stories that Nana Baha shared. Um, that was a lot. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's really it's unfortunate. Not. Sorry. Right? Very, yeah. 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 Very unfortunate. But what, what I wanted to ask her was, um, with all, the, all of the people that you've helped, you know, over the years and all of that, um, with Women of Valor, do you... Do you I know that you've you said you started it after ten years mm. and and everything and then what's the fulfillment for you deeply truly? Okay. Yeah. Well, the fulfillment for me is seeing, for instance, Lenny able to speak her mind, mm. not disrespectfully, right? Because a lady has to be polite. Always. Every human being must be polite yeah. all the time. Yeah. Everyone must be polite. But you're able to speak your mind. You're able to think that you can conquer the world. You will not take nonsense from anybody politely. <laughs> <laughs> politely. Yeah. That for me is fulfillment. Seeing women in the boardroom, women making decisions because women are at stake. You go to some institutions and there are too many men, not that it's deliberate, but the men are taking decisions based on what they know. Mm -hmm. For instance, maternity leave. A woman will go on leave for three months. After three months, she's not psychologically it's there. It's not enough. She's yes. dealing with postpartum. I've, I've wondered, I've wondered why yes. that thing hasn't been extended to six months or exactly. a year. Exactly. Not enough. You know, postpartum. Yeah. I think that some people many take the six months, one year, but then maybe without, without pay. Salary. Salary. Yeah. And that's Besides, what I'm saying. You, sometimes you come back and your job is gone. You know, postpartum, mental health. Nobody considers that. But if there is a woman there who's been, it's not to say that. All the female bosses are excellent bosses, but you want to okay. believe that they will mm -hmm. be more understanding. understanding yeah. Yeah. And I've had instances where people say, oh, the women were even worse. Yeah. But again, in my career, in my journey, there was only one woman who ever stood by me, Emma Morrison. 
Yes, oh. Emma. It, it's just Emma. Yeah. Every single step that I took, mm -hmm. it was a man who helped me. Every step. So I cannot even hate men. It's not possible for me to hate men. And I acknowledge the men who have helped me uh, throughout my journey. I have never been asked to exchange sex for anything before. In the workplace. Good. Mm -hmm. Now that question is it as a result of how you carry yourself, yeah. or um, you know, because a lot of young girls would really want to know this, or by de by default. So it is not their fault. If you say how you carry yourself, then you are portioning some blame to the young woman. Okay. So it is not their fault that there is an insane man who thinks that this girl, even though she's competent. I must get into her pants mm -hmm. before she gets the job. So it is not the young woman's fault. It's just that some men think that is how they exhibit power. Mm -hmm. so, That's how so they push power. Passage. Yeah, so if you want to be there, then do A, B, C, D. If you're a young girl and you are caught up in that situation, I'll say to you, do not have sex with a man. I know some will say, what do I do? Uh, one girl told me, some, this was a few years back, that if I have sex with a man, it will not be written on my forehead. Wow. Uh, nobody will know. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's your dignity as well. It's a self-respect. If you want to have sex with a man, have sex with a man, but not because there is an opportunity at stake. Mm -hmm. That is your self-esteem gone. Yeah. Right. It's difficult for me to give advice to any woman in that situation because, like I said, I've never been in that situation where a man told me that before I give you this job, you have to have sex, have sex with me. I've never been in that situation. What I have encountered is that I was looking for interviews with so-called big men mm -hmm. who would say, oh, can we discuss it over dinner? Can we do this? But I have a way of you know, diffusing, all, diffusing all, of that, yeah. all of that. I mean, uh, immediately I start calling you daddy. Ah. When I start calling you trick. daddy that's the or trick. uncle, I mean, how are you even going to continue oh, with that? Like, yeah, I start calling you uncle. You know, but, but you, you, you need to find way a to... way that works for you. But I, I'm telling every young girl that having sex, exchanging sex for a job is not the way to go. Uh, but of course, you'll be confronted with so many challenges that mm -hmm. at that point you need the job you need the money yeah, and there's desperation the there's de no money there's what do you do yeah. i mean no but your personal okay, okay. okay go ahead <laughs> I, I, I had my question. i've taken from this that okay quote unquote you're a daddy's girl yes so that's a lot of time looking through a male perspective especially mm. on his intellectual pursuits mm. and all those influences on you how did this strong desire to stand up for the woman grow in you where was it nurtured well, at work, at work, because I remember when I went to but the first time I ever tried. You know, when I was in secondary school, I was a newsreader mm -hmm. because I went to Ghana. Hey, you start chill. Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to be a media person, and so when I went to Ghana National College, number one, I wasn't happy to be at Ghana National College uh, because I didn't know anybody there. Of course, they all came in from different schools. Yeah. Some were friends from junior high school, mm -hmm. but I didn't know anybody there. And in my dormitory, the people were too weird. I pick up a newspaper and they're looking at me. Eh? I'm reading a book and they're like, ah, what's this? You know, and or I'm... Trend or trend or trend. Uh, uh, things like that. <laughs> book long. Uh, they even say book uh, long. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, I'm an antisocial person. I, oh. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I like my space. I like being alone. Wow. Oh, no, I like being, I like being alone. And so my friends... Media. I never saw you as an introvert. I, I mean... Exactly. For I someone who, who, who rolls out like, 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 her glass to actually help the, the trader and turn uh, her yes. around. Yes. <laughs> I know how to hide it. But when I'm alone, I just... My friends, when my friends visit me, they know that after 45 minutes, you have to leave. Yeah, longer. <laughs> because at that point, the I start... The battery is from the cafe. Yeah, I start... <laughs> Yawning and it's deliberate. I don't want to sleep, but I start because you need to go. I just you want let to me get my space. Yeah. Yeah. The energy is off. Yeah. yeah, you have to go. I like, get out of here. Minutes. Yeah, but so in secondary school, I realized that look, these people they don't like to read. Why aren't you reading? Because at Alsted Academy, reading was such a big deal. You mm. have to read. Mm -hmm. If you're not reading, your parents don't love you. Why? Where is your book? <laughs> <laughs> you know, where, where is your book? Why don't you have a book? <laughs> and I found it very strange. And also felt that people were not interested in information. Mm. They didn't want to know what was going on around them, what was going on in the country. And so I went to my physics teacher, Mr. Nkum, and I said, I want to set up a news agency in school. Wow. And he looked at me and thought, this girl, is she okay? 
And I was persistent, so he walked me to the headmistress, Mrs. I uh, can't remember her name, very wicked woman. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we all, we all had that one teacher. We all had that one yeah. teacher. That, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we went to her office and she said, well, fortunately, she loved news as well. And so she said, okay, but how are you going to do it? I, I had a plan. And so, to cut a long story short, from Form 2 till I left Ghana National College, every Monday morning I read the news to the students. Campus news agent, that's what I called it. Oh, wow. At National. So that's where I started. I always knew I wanted to be a media. Does yeah. it still exist in National? Or they, when you I, left, it's, you still, left it's still there. It's still <laughs> there. They, they have news readers on campus, which is a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> she started something, no? I know. Yeah. I started something crazy, but yeah. Yeah. So what, what do you make of, um, you know, the, the, the dynamics of media has changed. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, we are, we are in a microwave system now. But what do you make of this system, and are there any adverse effects in the future to come with how we are turning and churning out, you know, media personalities by the day? If we are, even if we are supposed to be titled as media personalities, um, do, do, do you think that we should be ready for a, an explosion in some years you know, to the, come? The, the word. Some some of these words really scare me. I, I saw your fly. It's a media mogul. I'm like, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I think I I think it's a great thing. I mean, liberation is an absolutely great thing. And I've heard people say, oh, that this generation they've had it easy. Um, they come one two months and they want to be stars. They want the easy way out. Why not? Why not? The fact that we struggled 10, 15 years ago doesn't mean Everybody that they should be struggling struggle. now. Yeah. You got into it because you want to make life better, better yeah. for this generation. Yeah. And so when I was a news editor, for instance, and as general manager, I told people, look, and I would always have an issue with a staff who would disrespect an intern. And it was a rule. You cannot send an intern to go and buy food for you. Mm. The fact that you were buying food for somebody five years ago doesn't that mean you should buy food. And when I, was on, when I went to TV3, for instance, as a young person reading the news, no, you would not dare tell me to go and buy. I saw others going to buy Kenke for senior reporters <laughs> and you said it has, <laughs> No, I won't do it because in my house, my father doesn't even send me to buy anything. My mom won't send me to go out and buy something. So who are you to tell me to go and buy you watch it? I will not go. I will simply not go. And if you realize that I am going to buy something for somebody, then it means that I have found an opportunity. And I'm very <laughs> opportunistic. <laughs> I like to use people. I like that. Positively. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so for instance, somebody like Emma Morrison. Emma had something in here that I loved. And it was always my ambition that I want to be better than Emma. I want to take up Emma's slot. So I took to Emma. Miss Mo, is this that? Should I buy you something? <laughs> it was deliberate. I was being an opportunist. But I will not tell Lenny. I won't say that for Lenny to come and say, Nana, buy, take this, buy me. I won't go. And I will tell you, out, I will not go. <laughs> I won't go. Wow. And so everyone said I was disrespectful. And I didn't care. Mm. You know, Emma would say, no, you don't have to do that. You have to be respectful and accommodating and, and, and I, I can't why should i go to, to and you know when they send you know so they won't give you transport transport no <laughs> they want you to walk on, bring their change to go and buy gary and beef why should i go and buy you gary and beef what are you doing <laughs> but it doesn't mean they should be doing that today the fact yes. that you served somebody 10 years Struggling ago doesn't mean Olympics. they should be doing that today if somebody walks into your office and you see the potential in them mm -hmm. don't let them, them struggle mm. to hit Help them. Why can't we be helpful? Yeah. We learned it from our parents. Your parents said, do you know how I suffered to go to school? I used to walk three miles. But that's why we are working, to make your life better. Yeah, but yeah. We, what I'm saying is that we heard that psyche is in our minds because we heard it all uh, growing up. Teachers would tell you, think it's that, do you know how easy... I, I, think, I think it's secondary school. Though. No. It's I, can't, I don't think it's the parents. I think it's secondary school. Or maybe it's society. Seniors will take you through. Maybe. Maybe. It's at yeah. every step. For kids, one thing we want to tell kids always, no matter the generation, is how easy they have it. Everybody's telling you. The teacher is telling you how easy. Mm. Do you know how we suffered in sixth form? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have sixth form. So just teach me. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at every opportunity, I want to tell you so how the contract exactly. Yeah, so right. that's where. So by the time you're also in power in your office, you're like. Show somebody. But when, we have when did to you do come? Better. Yeah. yeah, we need we to break the cycle. We have totally. to do better 100%. for this generation. To answer your question, um, Jay Foley, <laughs> we need more. If if mm -hmm. if. Lenny considers herself a media personality. Mm -hmm. Such a big word. <laughs> personality. Oh, th that's okay. As long as Lenny is able to influence and Lenny is able to use her platform positively. Because I don't know how many people 
are watching the show mm -hmm. or listening to the show. But even if it's three people and two people are inspired by you, you've done something wonderful. Right. Mm -hmm. And people find inspiration from different people and different stories. So all the better. But I'm saying to you, three music, if you are sending your interns to buy a watch, you stop it. It's not good. The next time you come, we'll all have ulcers. <laughs> <laughs> Cyril, no, no. you are Cyril yesterday, mm -hmm. Jay Foley, no, the day Jay Foley called me, mm -hmm. he was giving me your profile, mm -hmm. and then, 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 South Africa, and then, 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 get an errand boy. So do you know what I mean? buy you a bottle of water. No, no. it's an example. No, no, no. He has said. He has said. Explain. It's Let's an go. example. I'm yeah. just saying that it's a small job. I get the context well, perfectly. But, yeah. But most of the times, mm -hmm. right? Let me just play devil's advocate. Okay. Most of the time, uh -huh. there's also a certain. I don't want to use the word desperation. No, eagerness. There's also an eagerness from the interns to serve. Right? So sometimes you're going to do the thing and then they jump in. Stop that. Like, Why don't you stop no, no, How does I, that? Let me, let me just clarify one thing. In here, it's a reversal. Mm. I think line you managers said, yeah. do a very good job by even taking the interns out to go and eat. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. That's really nice. Yes. Oh, that's really nice. I should come and intern. Yes. <laughs> and, 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 and then also the interns also, you know, when they are, when they are way out to uh, have lunch, um, some kind, you know, I'm going to buy food or someone even goes to and come to ask, should I get you yeah. something yeah. to eat? Oh, because I don't mean you're in a meeting. But rarely would you get to hey, come and go and buy me. That yeah. is wonderful. It's actually a close circuit here. Really. Yeah. I think. Uh, you know, down oh, that's nice. We'd like yeah. to hire as an intern. Yeah, I, I, I like <laughs> yeah. That's really it, nice. It's, uh, really okay, nice. I, right, I, I wanted to ask Nanaba, um, being in media for as long as you've mm. been, um, there's now this um, rise of, you know, younger ones wanting to, to get, you know, some of the achievement of those who have been in industry for years and years i understand that if you've been in it for longer obviously you've put in the work you know you're getting whatever you're supposed to be getting remuneration all of that all of that but should you start in the industry for maybe you've been in it for six months mm. for a year right mm. i find that you know there's this competition with the younger ones what would you say to somebody who just started in media maybe six three months in you know and wants to probably drive a range rover you know wants oh. to own a five bedroom house you know mm -hmm. all of that because that has also led to you know the rise of so many quote unquote vices uh, for both, for question. both, um, for both got, um, got text, male and uh, female. Says for good both morning, Jay. Uh, he says some girls uh, actually offer the sex. <laughs> they deliberately make a move on their bosses. Because uh, they know the bosses will, will not say no. no. Yeah. Or they, no. They, they are waiting for the bosses to say, ask for it and they are, they they are, are positioning not, themselves. They are not <laughs> asking. And so they're saying, okay, let's get this out of the way. <laughs> but that's no justification yeah. for it. Mm. To answer your question, Lenny, um, to start with, the media in Ghana does not pay very well. Mm -hmm. um, Louder. Yeah. <laughs> That's the truth. And like. it's not the fault of anybody. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, not, it's not the fault. I mean, if you go to a media house, you probably can count on one hand the on air producers um, and other personalities who are being paid very well. Um, right. Just on one hand. Um, I, but I say to people that it's not a reason to give up. What you should do is to find a way to leverage, to use your platform to your benefit. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean you should engage in vices, but um, find something to do. And so people have said to me, oh, um, Anaba, do you want to start a buying and If I do a buying and selling business, it will be a disaster. <laughs> I will lose everything. I can't do that. What I do, however, is I write speeches for managing directors for ministers right. or they'll send me a speech on a number there's uh, can you go through this for me I look at this speech and sometimes it's balderdash I, so I have to hey, correct that. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the sixth one I have mm -hmm. to correct and I make I make good money from that because mm -hmm. I, I, I charge for that right. um, so like proofreading and editing basically yeah, yeah. I, I, ch I charge for not just proofreading and editing. I, sometimes I have to I write, the whole write. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> you know, an executive copyright or uh, somebody is going to deliver a speech somewhere right. how do I stand right. uh, 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 you know make eye contact mm. I teach I don't them. think many people know that there are opportunities in that yeah. in that space 
I don't think it's, it's glorified and amplified. Maybe it's the yeah. first time I'm actually hearing. Well, you maybe you should start it. You make good money from it. Uh, well, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lenny, I think Lenny, I'll look into that. I'll <laughs> so look into I that. groom people for media interviews. Wow. When you are facing a journalist, you know, they'll ask you questions. Right. You, you don't have to answer the question immediately. Think through. Mm. Mm. Nobody has been killed for being quiet for a few seconds. Mm. So I, I do all of that. Have you worked with the artist on that before? Which your your musicians? Mm -hmm. Say your <laughs> musicians. Because <laughs> media trade is like a very mm -hmm. big issue. Yeah, yeah. I, want to tell I you. know. I'm, I'm trying to consider which language to learn. Fortunately, fortunately, I've never done anything with a creative art wow. industry. It's just. Very the popular. irony that they needed the most. Yeah. Yeah, it's just yeah. very popular. No, the, the thing is that with them, they would expect it for free. Mm, and right. I am not for the Christmas. I'm drinking that tea. Table yeah. is booking. <laughs> that table yeah. is booking. That table is... Make a point. She don't have any money. She don't have any money. She don't Angels have a free one. She don't want it for free. She don't play with the money. No, 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 no. No, no. Because I have trained myself mm. this long. And mm -hmm. I, I offer it for free. How, why should I offer offer it for free? Yeah. I mean, there are a few people that will get it for free mm. if they approached me. Oh, thank you so much. Just about three musicians in Ghana will get it for free. Sack right. is in there. Of course, Sack has to be number one. What, what? do you mean? <laughs> I mean you know, someone like Sack doesn't really need media trainer. I mean, sometimes when you, when you watch his interviews, do you do you think that he's good? Good. Because he always he does well. I mean, he's, like, he's Stone Boy, um, he sucks. He does no wrong. <laughs> so when I'm watching Sack, I'm not even looking for fun. <laughs> <'Cause laughs> I think is the wrong person to ask this question. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, uh, Trust me. Shut up. Shut up. I guess tomorrow on the show. Oh yeah. really? Yes. <laughs> I need to train you. <laughs> 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 oh my that guy, he's my guy, but I know Shata. But you see, the thing people do, and uh, you all know Shata Wale. Right. Shata Wale is such a sweet guy. I'm right? telling you. He's so sweet. Right. But the, con the perception people have about Shata Wale really eggs me sometimes. Oh, they man. think the guy is so violent and rowdy, <laughs> he's but he's so that. sweet. I think he just puts up a, some it's a persona. persona to, yeah. right. But but he's such a sweet guy. But yes, for Shatawale, I would like to be in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> and have him whisper the we'll, response. We'll, we'll <laughs> <in> the <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm. But yeah, there are... Th but majority of them do. Mm. Majority mm. of them do. I think that the majority of our musicians think that once they get a couple of reposts and likes mm. and streams they think that's it <laughs> mm. but th there is so much they could avail themselves to that mm. they are not doing mm. and um the training is part of it mm. have you ever considered managing an artist no it's not something i would ever do <laughs> <laughs> why is that because <laughs> <laughs> you have the plug, but you, you have, have the tough. you have the, ne yeah. you have the yeah. network. Yeah, no. you're obviously tough. You obviously know which way the right road is. You can really? raise, you can raise sponsorships, funds. Oh, I can do all of that. But, but I don't have the patience <laughs> <laughs> to deal with prima donnas. I, 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 I can't. I can't. I. You know, I'm just picturing myself managing an art. But, but what makes it? Is it the Ghanaian artist? Is it the mindset of the Ghanaian? <laughs> 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 is, it the, is it the mindset or is it that we have a different approach to understanding what music business is? And I think, okay, number one, I will not even pretend to understand the music business. Okay. Right. Because I don't. Right. Okay. And I remember one time, Sakodi and I were having a conversation and Sakodi said, Nanaba, what was my first hit? And I'm like, ah, you have a hit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Don't really? follow it like that. I, yes. I don't know. The first time, and I will mention this group, and if Sakodia watches this interview, he would know. I met this group, right? Mm -hmm. They sing. And I was hosting the Diva show at the time. I yes. ran into them, and they were like, hey, Nanaba, when are we coming on your show? And we're chatting. I had no idea who, who they, they were. were. <laughs> and they were expecting me to say something. Mm. And I said, okay, so are uh, you guys didn't go for training? <laughs> like, really, I said, but you play for hard to folk or something. <laughs> no, the guys oh. were musicians. Oh. It just... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they called Look at my shock. So oh. Sakodia called me. Sakodia was shocked. I'm like, what do you mean? I don't know. 
it's not your space. No, it is not my space. I don't even pretend to understand the music right. industry. But from the little that I see, I think that there is so much we can do. And not just individually. I think the country itself <coughs> is a complete disaster. Come on. Because <laughs> Go we... There. And again, our musicians and our actors, mm -hmm. not all of them, not all of them, a lot of them are sane. A few of them are not. Mm -hmm. Because... I say to people that in an election year, yeah. when politicians are looking for personalities to endorse them, this is the time you come together to make demands. demands yeah. Yeah. Lobby and leverage. You, yeah. you lobby. This is when you make demands. I mean, the president created a creative arts ministry hmm. or something, mm -hmm. puts a former media person there as deputy mm -hmm. minister. What has been his impact? Mm -hmm. There hasn't been any <coughs> single impact from Michael Krikumante. Go there. Go there for me. Go I don't me. see it. Because still... Our musicians are struggling to compete with Nigerian musicians. Yeah. Mm. Our actors are struggling to compete with them. Mm. Burner Boy is um, performing at... Is that his Grammy, right? Yeah. I thought it was Oscars. I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> so, Burner Boy is performing there. Why can't it be Sark? Mm. Why can't it be Stoneboy or Shatawale or Jackie or Becca or Thea? Why can't it be any of them? Where are we? Why are we not there? What are we doing for them? And it is not their fault. You know, and people say that, oh, Ghanaian musicians are lazy. No, they are not lazy. They are not getting any support. Mm. In other countries, the country throws the weight behind these artists. There is it's funding. There is yeah. a yeah. Yeah. There's a deliberate attempt to make them better. Here, no. The musician releases a song. The musician has to go around and still pay payola. In 2024, mm. why are DJs taking money from musicians? Mm -hmm. The media houses are not paying royalties to the musicians. Mm -hmm. Why? And that is why the ministry exists. That is why governments should be on their necks of three music, mm. GH1, mm -hmm. Joy. That you should be paying these guys. Mm -hmm. they, they shouldn't be giving DJs 500 CDs. Five, not, I hear now you guys are taking 10,000. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, 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 the DJs are charging. Hey, no, now if you want to get DJs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Challenge it. your boy DJ C Real. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. Yeah. 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 The country Say needs what? to be serious. Mm. We need to be serious. And so when in an election year, you go and take 100,000 CDs. Alone. Self, alone. You see, it's a scarcity mindset. The, the, the reason why the collaborate the thing you are saying is beautiful. We all come together. We hold the politicians' necks. We make sure before we, they get no, on. No, their necks are it. gone. They don't even have necks now. <laughs> it's the balls they need to attack. Ooh, ooh. And, and you see, and, and you people said me I'm problematic. Ooh. Now you only see their heads. They are so dishonest. They, 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 <laughs> but but, but they collaborate. Wow. Our people yeah. cannot. The scarcity yeah. mindset within the industry. Makes it hard for people to say, Nana, but let's go and do this. I know. Lenny, let's go and do this. So, how do we fix that scarcity mindset? We fix it by staying together. By, by, you don't have mm. to be friends with Lenny. If Lenny and I share a common cause, I don't have to be friends with Lenny. Focus I probably don't course. like Lenny because she's wearing one, two, three, four, five. Five. <laughs> 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 Just on one side. The others. Two. Two. Like <laughs> yours. Seven. <laughs> I, I have only one. No, but the other one, no, it was a mistake. So, <laughs> peer pressure. I don't put anything yeah, there. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. After a while, you went, ah. Ah, that was a <laughs> yeah. But it looks nice. I like Thank it on you. you. But if you share a common goal, you yeah. don't have to be friends with yeah. Lenny. Get the goal done. Get the work done. Get the work done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody eats. That's, and, where the, that's where we make the mistake. Nana, but, but, I mean, but, but why? But that is why people like <laughs> you, Jay Foley, you, Cyril, what's your name? Oh, the name's Salvador. Olili. Ah, that's you. That's me. Okay, that's why you are. I was that's why you are. You are all a big disappointment. Oh. Yeah, no, no. Honestly, yeah. you are not part. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Girl power, girl power. This one, this one they don't like feminists. Girl power. No, but that's why you are all a big disappointment. Why? B because, because you don't like telling the, the truth. truth. Oh, then I'm not among. You are. Oh. I'll tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> because you will sit on the radio or TV, TV. Mm. and you are bashing just the musicians. Mm. Why aren't you bashing Nana Ekufuadu, His Excellency? <laughs> why? Oh, we, we try. Oh, oh, on this show we try. Then I'm not among. Then you, oh, you, you all confess I'm not among. Yeah. Yeah. No, but they, they need, <laughs> we need to do better. Yeah. Especially for 
the media personalities in the creative mm. arts. We need to do better because our musicians are struggling. No, they are struggling. Even for those who we believe are up there, they could be bigger than Baba, they are. Uh, fun fact, the music or the entertainment industry is plagued with the spirit of cowardice. Really? Almost true. It's not even I just am, cowardice. I, am, I, think, bro, I think it's bro, because... The cowardice we drink, your gin drip. No, but I think the cowardice is hard. It's not just How they say it in G? I think it's just... What's it? I don't know. I don't know. Fear. Fear. How do you say fear? Cowardice is true. That's what I'm saying. But what language is this? So, like... So, I... To make a tree, you know, but... See, where's Nibi or what I mean? I give you an example. Remember when episode was talking to us about his situation? Yes, but people like him get blackballed. They get press silence. Because he came here, he spoke the truth about the challenges he faced. We amplified it. We indulged the conversation. Yeah, but I'm saying And they killed the conversation. Talking about the event he went for, where he did the record about the politicians, yeah. the threatenings he faced, mm. you know, and you know, he was uh, threatened. Yes, for what? Uh, he, who? Think, who? Episode. episode, episode. Yeah. He did a record. I think uh, you spoke the truth on the yeah, 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 you did or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then he said when he went for this particular government event, mm -hmm. you know, the DJ was playing it. Mm -hmm. Somebody from the big man, event, order above. yeah, just went to tell the DJ to order cut the music. He mm. should stop the music because we are asking him that. You know, reggae dancer has positioned the, the genre in such a way that it's able to speak truth to power through the music. Yeah. Right. You know, not too long ago, we are watching the Bob Marley Rap used to do that. You understand. But these days, even our reggae dancer artists cannot do such records. And we ask them and they say, oh, it's because when you do it, they come after Deep you. They put, they put men on you. Let me ask you, <clears throat> all the artists who were vocal about what's happening in our communities and our societies, mm -hmm. what kind of trajectory has their career had. They are not. They are not lover boys. Lover boys and lover girls. Exactly because an example love. is. Oh, is the um, lover boy? <laughs> the coward is now. We're down, uh, man. You, you said coward. <laughs> <laughs> no, you mentioned lover boys. You mentioned. <laughs> They are not lover boys. Uh, the listen. episode is not doing highlight music. Uh, He's not doing highlight music. Yes, because uh, he has to highlight eat. Highlight people are the lover yeah. boys. Yeah, I mean, no. Because he has like, to Someone eat. like episode is a reggae dancehall artist. Uh, but right? now he's doing... He's doing highlight music. He's doing love music. Oh, okay, 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 okay. He's doing okay. popular okay. music to get by. It's not just car. the true. It's the realist... Realization that... It's the realization that... You can follow the agenda and you want to fight for the cause. Yeah. But your ECG is doing... ping, ping, ping. You need money to buy like... Yeah, <laughs> you show. understand? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Exactly. You're looking for the show. So you have to kiss us. You have to compromise. You have to kiss us mm -hmm. so that you can get, get booked yeah. for the show. It shows. goes back to what I'm saying that the problem is not our musicians. Yeah. It's our system. It's the system. The system, system is, is working. Is, is that, that's, yeah. that's why a deputy minister should be the one kicking the doors open. The and the I artist. will tell you that he uh. only responds to his boss. He can only suggest ideas. He can't take decisions. So what's the point of the position? That is the thing. But do you know why I have a problem with that? Talk to me. Because... You are coming from an industry that is very vibrant. Right. Mm. The media is vibrant in Ghana. And you have a network. If you are pushing and it's not making any impact. Apply pressure. Apply pressure <laughs> through, the, I mean, I mean. through the media. Uh. I, I, he's rather making an excuse, which yeah. is the problem. Well, I mean, yeah. that's, that he's adding to the problem. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So At I was uh, fortunate. Sorry. I don't want to say fortunate. Mm. One. I was always rather unfortunate, <laughs> but I was fortunate to have sat in some of these um, uh, creative arts meetings, dealing with some of these um, uh, associations mm. that are supposed to be managing <laughs> the um, our spaces. And, and about, I, I'll tell you that, um, and I'm not holding brief for Michael Crick Mountain anyway, I'm not his PR spokesperson, but I saw it my, my, my own two eyes. And after that meeting, he turned to me and said, Jay, you see, because the people who are managing those systems, they themselves are so either one, and I choose my words carefully, from what I saw, please, mm -hmm. not what they are, from what I saw, either they are heavily corrupted, Mm -hmm. or they have their personal agenda mm -hmm. or they are um, they, they just don't want to see it work because of uh, personal interest and enmity among themselves and and lastly the one that even just brought the camel back for me is different goals not even going to the same having the same uh, yeah, end goal expected end result, yeah. different goals different agenda <clears throat> different like different opinions so that the thing is that there is no way there's no book lying down to say that I want this organization to reach this point. So after some of those meetings... When and and if, if all of that plays out and Mark turns to you and says, Jay, say with him, 
then he's a big disappointment. No, I, I, like I'm saying, I'm not, I'm not holding yeah, 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 it, it's that a big disappointment. Right. Be, because, precisely. You're an authority, you enforce, you don't yeah, ask. Yeah, yeah. No, the police is not going to ask like you, I'm Mr. Robert. No, please. Yeah, you calm down for no, no, the no, 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 we understand what you're saying. I'm just saying that it cannot be the reason for where we are. Yeah, for perpetuating the problem. Because members of an association have an agenda he has an agenda sitting there mm -hmm. didn't he lobby for the position he lobbied for it because he had an agenda he had a personal interest everybody has a personal interest you'll be very stupid if you go into an organization without mm. a personal interest mm. you must have a personal interest you must have your own agenda mm. but of course it must align mm. dr baumia has an agenda he has a personal interest Nana Ekufuado, before he became president, had an agenda, he had a personal interest, but it must align mm. with the goals of the country, with the spirit of our flag and the national anthem. Mm -hmm. But if it does not align, then there is a problem. A problem. And Mark and his cohorts cannot sit at that ministry and say that because the association, members of the association are, are so not together. Yeah. Precisely. That is not an excuse. It's a lack of that, accountability. That, that, that ministry. That ministry, if I become president, I will not just call it, I will break down the building. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, come on, come on. No, because they are, they are, they are just non-existent. And I, I'd be, I'd be, I mean, when they get home and they say, are you cold, do they respond? They shouldn't be responding. When they say, are you cold to them, they should say, hmm, Brad, die. <laughs> they shouldn't respond because they are not working. Mm. They are not working because you take up the position in the third year or fourth year. You expect that in two years there some should be some impact. The amphitheaters are Even if it's one percent. So we painted the interchange <laughs> with a Please. copious amount of money Please. when people couldn't produce. <clears throat> there were no platforms. The National Theatre had to rent chairs. Come yeah, on. And the ACs yeah. are not working. I don't want to speak the truth. You're painting interchanges, the yeah. colorful yeah. things that <laughs> tourists. And then your, your when, people want, when people want to produce plays for the same tourists, mm. they'll go and be sweating his, national he, his he his yeah, those, those those like national theater. Those say you like him. His personal interest is uh, it's, it's called a calf crocodile shoe. And three four. And I'm wearing a full one. When the interest are lying, I'll catch half But you see, but we should be doing better. Yeah. We should be doing better. This place priorities everywhere. Oh, Nana, do you have political yeah. ambitions? Yes, that's where we're coming to that. Mm. Thank let's you. Go, Thank go, you. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Campaign manager, just. So oh you no, know, you, are. you, I won't know. <laughs> well, that's not interest. I don't like. <laughs> Why are you scared? Why are you scared? Why are you scared? The woman. Three percent. How soon? How soon? How soon? As she has gotten to the top, as she has gotten to the top, yeah. I don't know if I call them ambitions, mm. but I think that I could do more. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't mean that you, you have to be in a certain position Before, to do more, but mm -hmm. of course... It makes it easier. It makes it easier. Um, I don't have any now, but you never say never. Mm. Um, but also, I see so much in this country, and, I, and I'm looking at some of our polit politicians. I think we have only... Only 8% of the politicians in Ghana are sensible. Wow, 8%. Only 8, I'm telling you. Damn. Only 8 across the board. Only 8%. The rest of them, they are just there, not by dint of hard work, not because they are so passionate about this country. They just see the opportunity to milk the state. Mm. And they're doing everything possible to get there. They're the loud ones. They're always insulting. I don't even want to go there. <laughs> but I think we could do, we could do better. Um, things are changing, and that's why I like this generation, because this generation are better than our generation. Mm -hmm. They are more forceful. They are vocal. Very they good. are fearless. Mm -hmm. They're not like us. Um, we, our generation is just... Please, what do you make of uh, um, uh, the new force? Oh, we definitely need... A new force. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely need a new force. Um, I've engaged uh, Freedom Jacob Caesar a couple of times. He's a he's a great guy. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I love him personally. I, I I think he's a good guy. I remember when I was raising funds for the Siamese twins. Yes, I remember. Uh, he that. gave up yeah. he gave up uh, one of his properties for them to live in oh, uh, yeah. in a very plush area in Northridge. Yeah. Northridge. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> And this is the family. And also paid for their medical uh, Exactly. Well. That's oh, nice. Well, I'll come to that. Hey. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. So this is a family that was living in somewhere in Suhum or in Saum. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. They had just one bedroom. I don't think they even had a veranda. But he, he put them there in Northridge, and I still remember the look on the man's face. He stood there. Shock. Shocked. He was looking at the house, turned. He's like, no, it's, it's not possible. Can't be real. <laughs> it's not possible. Can't be real. And I also remember seeing the look on the officials from the hospital, like, ah, why not? <laughs> 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 but he means well. Um, Freedom Jacob Caesar means well. Um, he he loves people. Mm-hmm. He wants to see people do better. Mm. Um, I'm not sure Ghanaians are ready to give a new force an opportunity, even though we are screaming, screaming. for a new force. Mm. Mm. I'm not sure Ghanaians are ready to win themselves of the NDC and the NPP. Sadly, sadly. <laughs> uh, but I think that I like the way he's entered. Um, I mean, even if he doesn't make any gains, at least he's made a statement. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it's disrupted the waves. So. Exactly. I, I like it. So I think it's good. Mm. But it shouldn't just be him. There should be other people as well, you know, putting themselves. Oh, Lily, you should. He's think. stepping to. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was also going to ask you the about, fourth you know, fourth. Um, fourth. and also, um, what would be your, your uh, wish mm-hmm. to persons like, let's say, Baba Sadiq? For example, um, you know, basically uh, creative going into politics. Yes, creative going into politics. Young you know, young creative, creative, creative going into politics as well. Because we saw, well. we'll 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 so yeah. hey, calm down. Yeah. 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 It's, not, it's not doing anything. Because yeah. is it the system and way it's designed that when you enter, if you don't take care, it just might, you know, half shoe you, half shoe you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, Sadiq, I like Sadiq. This is his channel, right? <laughs> well, I don't care. Well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like Sadiq. I think he's a, he's a great guy. He's married to my friend Adiza. Yeah. He's a he's a, a woman. he's a great guy. Yeah. Um I like well. Uh, so at some point I was confused because I realized he was following the NDC a lot. He confused me. And then when he made his ambitions clear then I understood right. oh, uh, right. so that was his personal interest. Yeah. Um, she has, personal okay, interest. everyone has a personal <laughs> interest. I think if Sadiq wins that seat and i think he will win that seat if he wins that seat i would expect him to do better than what some mps are doing in parliament mm. I, I know uh, people who think that if the mp is not talking in parliament it's just a microcosm of what they do mm-hmm. talking in par- mm-hmm. on the floor mm-hmm. doesn't mm-hmm. really matter mm. but if sadiq is unable to lobby to make the industry better then shame on Sadiq <laughs> in advance. <laughs> shame is waiting. He's waiting. He's waiting. He's waiting. waiting. <laughs> and I know he he organizes the awards the as well. Music the awards. three music awards. Well, so he's, a, well he's, a, he's a founder, he's a founder of, of the, and a former CEO. So there's a new CEO as well. Oh, there's a new yeah. CEO. Yes, who's the new yeah. CEO? No, no, no. no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, a woman as well. Oh, so, a woman, a woman of valor. Nice. Yes. We, we had her on way last yes. week. Oh, that's yes. wonderful. Another interesting Seven story. Oh, that's that's yeah. lovely. Yeah. Yeah. That's lovely. But if Sadiq is unable to make an impact, and at the moment there is nothing to show that he will make an impact because we've seen others in there and there was zero impact. Mm-hmm. And so, based on data, I can't say that mm-hmm. it's such a great thing, but I've seen him do wonderful things, things in a small himself, corner. Yeah. And I want to believe that if... He's empowered. He's empowered. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. And if, <laughs> if, and I'm using if, Strong advisedly, if. <laughs> if the NDC does not win the election mm. and he makes it to parliament, he will not use the excuse of my parties in the mm, position. Pa- ah, mm-hmm. okay. Still be yeah. able to. He will yeah. not hide behind that. Yeah. But if the NDC wins and he's there as well, I don't expect him to chase just his interest, mm. but make sure that he's yeah, present. Nice. We have to see. Interest. Because I haven't seen Marco Kriku Mante's impact. Boyaka. Yeah. Who else is there? Our time was a part of the music guy in the portal. Yeah. 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 And he went to Ghana Post. <laughs> we, we, I mean, we've gone past our time, but, uh, but just, uh, just real quickly, Ghana because Post. we also have a production to do. Yeah. Mm. Um, real quickly, uh, let's touch on. Uh, there's, lost, there's, yeah. a tweet, there's a tweet from you that you, you reposted. I just when I laughed my head off with regards to you, you foresaw. I think if we can put a tweet up, uh, you foresaw the, the current. Um, 
sorry, the former the fa- the um, finance, <laughs> finance minister. <laughs> this was way back. Oh, I took the, the data, but it's February. Just, this was oh, yeah, no, it is. This yeah. Third, third third February. February. Uh, okay, okay. So, sorry. Uh, uh, the had been the finance minister had been asked to step aside, or oh, I'm coming down <laughs> with <laughs> malaria. Clearly, it wasn't malaria. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I am so happy that that man is gone. I am so so happy because I think that he's a single. <laughs> Let me just leave it. But you know, interesting. The speculation appointed, that he's, yeah, he's, he's not a, speculation. He's been appointed as special. Has been confirmed. To, has been confirmed. Yeah, is there yeah. an appointment yeah. letter? Which, which basically means whatever his ministry, the ministry does, they still have to ask. Listen. Ah, we are listening. Listen. We are listening. Oh, yes. <laughs> I am telling you on authority. Tell us yes. that the man is not happy about whether it's a reassignment. Mm. I see it as a dismissal. Mm. That is how I want to call it. But they are softening it. Some cushion yeah. data down there. But, but Ken Oforiata is the worst finance minister this country has ever had. Mm. He's the worst finance minister this country has had. He has messed up the president's legacy. That's what that man has done. But of course, we have a president who loves loyalty. Mm. He, mm. he will love you for being by his for side. For being by his side. At all costs, yeah. And, and so when there's pressure on him, we sh- no, the man believes in royal, uh, loyalty. Okay. You know, th- 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 there are people who just don't know how to be loyal to others. So mm-hmm. if you find people who are loyal to you, you, keep you, should, them. Be, keep them. you, keep them. Yeah. you should be happy. But of course, as an appointing authority as well, you, you have a legacy. Yeah. Yeah. You, you what do I do? Exactly, what do you do? But I think that Ken Foriata should have resigned long ago. Hmm. He has supervised so much rot and i am so glad that he's gone i mean some will say too little too late but it's good it came mm. it's good it came i don't know if the npp will retain power if they will break the eight mm-hmm. as they are hoping to do but at least for the ordinary Ghanaian, if you're able leave. to f- there is a there is a re- you know relief. if we had <laughs> if we had a strong music. yeah fi- <laughs> <laughs> if we had a strong, uh, you know, financial system, right. would have been able to tell the impact of this action right. on our right. market. Right. 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 Ten so. o'clock. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Alarms, yeah. Alarms, yeah. Alarms. I don't even okay, understand. That's where I end. But <laughs> I think. Can you headline that? The worst finance minister. We'll, we'll headline it. The sub headline is that the IMF announced yesterday that our foreign reserves are near depleted. Yeah. Which yeah, is yeah. Ghana's foreign talk reserves. For yeah. Ghana is broke. Yeah. So we can close. Uh, uh, la- please, uh, <laughs> lastly, we, we really have to go. But the Black Stars, uh, football. Oh. 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 No, no, I mean, I told that, that, that I told you that when I met uh, Nanaba at the uh, FA, yes, Premier League board, mm-hmm. Nanaba had crossed their leg, then was on your phone, like, just like, let me do and go. Let me tell you something. <laughs> wait, na- wait, Nanaba, what's the pain point for you when it comes to the Black Stars? Or the, or like, or the football ecosystem? The whole yeah. body is paining. Yeah. It's a total Look! Thing. <laughs> Look! That FA, mm. right? That FA. And Cat is my friend. Mm. I know he's not happy with me at the moment and I do not give a toss Mm. at all because he doesn't feed me. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people that I'm not afraid of any politician or any football official, anybody in authority in this country because none of them feeds me. Mm. None Mm. of them. They can't even feed me Mm. uh, me to start with. And so I'm not afraid of any of them. Kurt is my friend. I used to work with Kurt when he was doing the FA Cup. I would host it for him. And I expected better from Kurt Okreku. Mm. But Kurt has not done better. Mm. I expected Henry Asante Trum, who was working as Star, but he was your colleague, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. To do better. He hasn't done better. There are our football is dead. Yeah. Have you followed the local league? Egbo. Uh-huh. Forget about <laughs> the black stars. Because the black stars is just it's it's, it's they don't matter. As for that black stars, I don't even want to talk yeah. about them. But the real problem is our local league. It is dead. Our local league is dead, though. Jefolio, which team do you support in Ghana? No, I mean, I, I would have been an, a, a loyal fan of Accra Hearts of Football because my, my uncle also played in there, so it's in a family line, but ah, I think I've lost it. Horrible team. What are you going to Hey, Odidale. What do you <laughs> think? Oli, Oli I, I am told. You are? Yes. Oli, so, go, go, go. The greatest team in Oli, Africa. Oli, <laughs> <laughs> but our football is dead, you Yo. know? And yesterday I saw that protest. Yeah. Save Ghana football. And go see she. The, the, what we should do is to dissolve that FA mm. and get a ban from FIFA. 
okay. and put our house in order. order. Yeah. That's the only way we can save our football. And put our house in order doesn't mean put friends and cronies there. Mm. Put yeah. people with sense mm. <coughs> there to can't. work. I because can't. what we are seeing at the moment, the FA and the sports ministry are in bed. They're having wild sex. Mm. That's what is happening. Soom, and, that is Soom, and we are paying for the room Soom. on the hour. Movie house. We are not just paying for the room. We are paying for the room. We are, we are paying for the condo. Well, I don't know if they are using condo. The, the <laughs> lunch, the the using massage. We are paying for everything. Soom, Soom. Our football is dead. Uh, How do you budget $8.5 million for a tournament? That's seven whose million. winning price is $7, seven million. million. Mm. That's basic. You don't own like, you know, the tournament. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. next next tournament when we come, you guys who us. <laughs> How is that? Our football is dead. Oh, yo, it is completely man. dead. With, with that figure, I wanted to ask that: is that really what it, the, the minister the confirmed, confirmed yesterday, yesterday on the floor of parliament that they, budgeted they spent three, they budgeted eight point five, but they spent three, three point something, which is more than even the three point something they spent <laughs> is more than what Nigeria Niger, spent for Niger the whole tournament to final. Million so I think final. honorable and Anodon Pre called that. It will be necessary to dissolve the FA, even if it means a FIFA hopefully, ban. Hopefully exactly. Because, because Nigeria think, won $4 million. Yeah. That was the winning prize for yeah. Nigeria yeah. for coming second. So they, yeah. they doubled their money. Yeah. Yeah. Too sure. Too, Too sure. sure. <laughs> <laughs> Does it make That's sense? Where, yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Wow. It's crazy. Man. Anyway. But again, <sighs> also, I'm happy that the journalists are speaking. But you see, the thing about the sports journalists, and some of them are brilliant. I mean, I'm not going to wrap with mm -hmm. CHA. Uh, Gary, Sadiq, uh, Yao. Like, uh, some of them mm -hmm. are fantastic. Mm -hmm. But others are also it barking did. because mm. yeah. they yeah. wanted to go for AFCON. They didn't add them. <laughs> so they lost. Ma so some of them are barking because <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> They're not chopping. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> off it. Off <laughs> everything. <laughs> off everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. anyway. Lastly, mm. lastly. You keep saying that. I know. I, I, For the fourth lastly, time. Yeah. Um, if you had to, would you ever consider relocating from Ghana because of some of the economic pressures and other things? Would it oh, be an option? No. You're staying? No, I, I can't. That I can't, is I can't what live you need a, to let everybody hold on to. I can't yeah. live anywhere else. Yeah. Mm. I can't live anywhere else because... Ghana must work. Uh, it's not just that. <laughs> because I don't like the answer I'm going to give. <laughs> but because uh, Ghana... Eh. <laughs> I don't. End it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get away with so much. Ah, you can't get away with anything. <laughs> America. No. Yeah. Ghana too no, 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 thank you so much. Yeah, thank I want you very to, I much. I want to take this opportunity okay. to um, <laughs> say a big shout out to Nana. I don't, I don't think you remember this, but mm. in 2018, mm. you held um, a presenter auditions at GH1. Okay. Okay. I was part of the. Oh, uh, really? uh, oh, really? I was part of the gentleman you, eh? you auditioned. Who did he make it? You no, know, interestingly, we were, we were at the, at the reception, right? Uh -huh. And about walks down and says, okay, we are looking for just two people. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> bro, we were like hundreds of people. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm they having it. Listen, my about 5 a.m. Oh, you guys even lie. I'm so sad, but look at you now. Yeah. Look Thank at you, you now. So, yeah, when, when, people, when people reach out to me that they want to reach you, <laughs> I say, I, I beg. <laughs> I beg you. I'm not among. Bro, don't ask me. See, I look at you now. Telling you, they're looking for two people, they've already found one. Oh. Out of the hundreds, they're looking for one more. What are the odds? Oh, I'm so sad, look at you. You. Thank you so much. Um, You've done amazing for yourself. You so so you're says, very active on, on Twitter, right? Yes, I've yes. seen your handle so many yeah, times. You're DTS. one of the troublemakers. <laughs> yes. But it's good trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Good trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Do I follow you? Um, no. Or have I blocked you? I think so, you know. Oh, then you can have it. No, no you see, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not too sure why you blocked me. Because okay, so the, the thing is. I'm not too sure why. The thing is, there are people who don't know why I've blocked them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here is the thing. If I block... Lenny, right, right, mm -hmm. and I realize that you've retweeted Lenny's stuff to my oh. time. I'll block you as well. oh. because I don't want to see anything from Lenny. Oh. Right, okay. so it's association. <laughs> there are so many people who say they don't know why because you block like, ah, them. Because I'm like, ah, nobody's operating a machine gun. It's not a sniper rifle. Right? <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> people, people's brother say retweet is not endorsement. Retweets are not endorsement. No, me when I retweet, I endorse. <laughs> and so when I see you've retweeted nonsense, I will block you uh, because I've always been like, ah, I'm ah so I've blocked you. Yeah, what did you do? I don't know. Oh. Oh. I don't think I've mentioned I've mentioned you. We on, should do our own blocking ceremony. Blocking ceremony. On behalf of only the tomorrow, tomorrow when Shatter comes, it's going to be a warfare in this uh, <laughs> No, Shatter hasn't blocked me. Yes. Shatter hasn't but, blocked me yet. But they're on a different. You are good friends. You are good friends. They are singing their songs on social media. Oh really? 
<laughs> when we put out the flyer, people were like, oh, Olele will not be in the studio. I'm oh, like, yo. No, no, oh, no, why no. not? Oh, but Shaka is a sweet guy. He's a sweet guy. No, but he has to beat you up tomorrow. Thank you so very much. Our time is up. We have to go. We're back here tomorrow right here on Culture Day with Shata. And enjoy the rest of the day.